Hello and welcome back to another episode of Wasteland 3. My name is Saiken and today we are going to continue the Supreme Jerk uh, blind playthrough. It is episode 23, I think. Uh, still only two death and I hope this won't be the one where we accumulate death number three. Okay, after a zip of good tea, let's get this one going. We still need to really kill most of these guys here. So, let's start with doing exactly that. Marshal Quan moves over here. Lucia gets a little bit closer. And Ramos also gets here. Can we hit him? Or her, rather. Answers yes. A couple of enemies from the other side kick in. So, at least the loyalist here has added it. Oh, nice. Good job, Murphy, but I actually wanted you to set the trap, so... Maybe on hindsight, not so good. Hogbite charges in, kills the first one. Marshal Kwon moves in, takes over the turret. Moves to here, could repair, but we rather do not do that. Lucia moves up and we're going to get that drafty down. Nope, not this turn. Unfortunate. Okay, well, we're just pulling this guy by demoralizing them. And afterwards we're setting up an ambush. Ramos. Continues to get these guys and we're moving to here. Setting up an ambush just in case that guy is going to join. Okay, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not pull uh, the robot outside. That would suck. Good hit. Very nice. So, we will need to heal, one way or the other. Hogbite mo moves up. Oh, that's a great hit. And another crit into a kill. Lovely. Quan uh, begins to heal himself. Before then... Very much killing this guy. Good, we're left with that heavy machine turret. Ooh, the provost almost dead. Can't let that happen. Unfortunately hit him, accidentally though. Oh, 
So if he kills that gripper and switches to his massive penetration rifle and headshots this guy. Uh, good, but not good enough. But Quan needs to heal upstairs. Damn it, Ramos can't, can't heal someone else. Oh, he's the only one who cannot. Alright, just in case if we are losing that turret. We're already trying to get it a little bit further down. Ambush. Are you kidding me? More turrets, really? Yeah, like I said, we unfortunately lost this turret here. couple of good hits in. Let's hit the CPU in an attempt to make it ours. Didn't work. Let's try that again. Another hit and... Blank would be nice damage. We're combat stimming ourselves. Just making sure that Provost is gonna be fine. Ramos moves up. Wrong gun. We're moving up for the Stormer perk. Ah, that was good, but not good enough. And I think Juan could get the Stormer perk as well. Moves up four, but not five. Barely not good enough, but machine will survive and I'm pretty sure we're going to see one down here. Yo, unfortunately Central is downed. Holy smokes. Okay, so that was good. What else do we have? Another shotgun. And what's that? 
Action figure, no, 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 no. Would have been cool if we could have looted her and all of her stuff. Alright, unfortunately for us, we got downed. Fortunately for us, that's not the end. Good, we need to get rid of further uh, wounds. Let's start with that. Wounds gone. Wounds gone. Wounds gone. With wounds active, that was uh, potentially a little bit too much. Good, got subsystem 2 over here. And we sabotage the system. Fantastic. Some extra experience for cracking the doors there. Can we sabotage this system here? So we still got uh, machine gun turrets. Uh, they were okay, but I think I like the laser gun turrets a little bit more. Another disco bot wouldn't be bad. Okay, the really difficult fight is still up to come, which very soon is going to happen on the outside. But maybe if Regan isn't there, the statue isn't quote unquote manned. Good, well, you are standing up here, Murphy standing up here. One could take over one of uh, their turrets, but I don't want to risk him running out into the statue of Dragon. But what we could do is we could throw a laser turret out. We could, of course. We cannot. Let's see.
Good, this should start. There we go. Okay, cool. Bye, charges in. Oh, one shot, one kill. That's how we do it, baby. Take over that. Where's our uh, Kodiak? Kodiak drives forward, does nothing else because we can just run over these guys. Quan moves up. Could have used the decoy. Ramos moves up. He sees three and hits them very well. Central moves up. Puts up an ambush. Murphy has a problem to run through all of these guys. We'll do an ambush because uh, that's where he gets all of uh, that extra crit. Lucia runs in. Takes out the statue. No idea if that works. Nope, uh, it's resisted stunned. Well, it happens. Would have been cool to see that the statue has resisted stunned. Nice, that was our ambush. And we just got a follow up ambush on top of it. Well, so much for all of our frontliners. Start with the Kodiak, shall we? Takes out these two. Fabulous. Let's 
Central. Gets up. Um, at the Stormer perk, it just disappeared. He revives both of them. Good. Let's put a decoy out. Heal the front line. Laser turret, just to get more bodies on uh, on the field. Hawk bite. Hmm. But it starts to heal himself, really just to get topped up. Central moves a tiny bit back. I know, he's still out in the open. Not great. Good, at least the decoy worked and we didn't uh, didn't go down a second time. Good, we're going to break the armor of Regan. Very nice. Murphy cures Quan. That would be a great headshot. Good hit, but unfortunately not a kill. That on the other hand was a kill. Move over here. Uh, Quan. Takes over that robot because it helped us quite a bit before going back into cover and effectively healing himself.
Out in the open, central is going to focus very much on the statue. The four moving back up. Um, more IP for us. Self healing because we don't want to go down. Body to get the armor down. Almost got him. Almost. Our oh, Kodiak is tanking over here. I like that. Lita kills the boss, which gives everybody a massive bonus. Fantastic. Alright, we want to get this turret down. Good, there are more turrets, but we'll get them. At this point, the worst is done because we can outrange them. Lucia gets in and uh, Central moves there, which is going to take over action points. Luckily, we have the Kodiak as a little bit support. Major Tomcat 101's uh, that. Interesting. Gotta be a bit careful here. Major Tomcat is not that strong. There's still something down here. Oh, yeah, the last clipper, I see. 
Fair enough. Two really good hits. Murphy moves up, kills the turret, fabulous, continues to move up, can shoot the next turret next round. Quan moves up. I like how we're becoming very mobile. With the Stormer perk, he got that one salve for free. Unfortunate. Reviving Hawkbite. Kill someone and or just healing Hawkbite. Kodiak moves up. And almost kills the Gripper. That's it. The path is clear, come pick him up. Congratulations, November one. Hell of a catch you pulled. Good. Baylor Buchanan is gone, so that's one down, two more to go. And boy oh boy, it just took us an entire city that we needed to uh, put down in order to get to him. Wow. Item created dog shit. Requires dog shit. So you're telling me if I do have dog shit, I can always create more dog shit? Compelling. Cool. Let's start out. Uh, Hogbite. Uh, we're leveling up, and I think then that is a great uh, place to end the episode. So let's level up first. The Hogbite uh, gets more strength, which means more damage in melee. We're leveling up Animal Whisperer. Which allows us then to read the Animal Whisperer book. And we're done. 10 out of 10 Animal Whisperer. Great. And we got a perk. Shrug it off. Well, it's using a blunt weapon, gain uh, 5 armor. We don't need that, we don't have a blunt weapon. Although, 
if we had a blunt weapon, then we could always switch to the blunt weapon towards the end of uh, the round. So that's not too bad. This here, however, is good. And I like Tender Loving Care. So we still need more time for Tender Loving Care. I think for now, what we are giving him is Withered. Really like that perk. The majority of the damage uh, comes from crits. And being very resistant to them is good. So we wanted, I think, strength 6 on her. But awareness isn't bad either. Question is, what are we going to take first? We just hit a, a breakpoint with strength. She has a lot of armor. So might go for a bit more awareness. But six strengths isn't bad either. Yeah, we're going for six strengths. I want to make sure that the front line, for once, isn't always just going down. Weird signs and small arms. We just need to find the skill books for that. And in the meantime, we're giving her Animal Whisperer just so that she can, I suppose, get become better at that. This stat here would be good. Energy takes 20% chance to electrocute enemy, dealing energy damage to them and anyone standing nearby. That's good. That is fantastic. Good. Next up. We got Central. Central has good coordination already. Absolute great intelligence and charisma. I think what we would need with him, because he's just going down way too fast as well, is get it up to six uh, strengths. I like that breakpoint with nine uh, consti per level. Gives you quite a bit. You can always go a bit higher if needed. And he needs awareness for better hit chances as well. For now... For now, I think we're going up to four strength and then four awareness to have kind of a rounded build here. Want to get leadership up next so that we can read a book and uh, finish uh, that. We just have been hitting the breakpoint here with strengths, and I think Ramos is good. 230 very solid uh, hit points. I like that. Uh, I believe a little bit better awareness would still work out so that he simply has better chances to hit. Very good. And let's get big guns. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We had, I think, explosives. We had the book, right? Yeah, explosives. We had the book. Okay, in which case uh, we're going for explosives. And we let him read the book. Cool. We're now finally at Explosives 10, which then allows us to get radius of grenades and other area of effect abilities increased by 40%. Mind you, I still have collected a quite a few rockets and we're not shy of uh, using them. Still have a rocket launcher if that would be needed. Good. Murphy couple of things here to consider still want to get coordination uh, fully up 
because oftentimes he's just shy of launching that dual attack. And then it's really a little bit of uh, strength. Just a little bit of speed. A little bit of everything. He's super, super fragile. This here would give him less fragility. But we're going for action points first. Wanted to do sneaky shit nine. So that I think we can do sneaky shit sneaky ten. No. Mechanic negotiation. I like the idea of sneaky uh, stuff, 10, that gives 100% extra damage. Mm. Listen, for now I'll just leave his perk be as is. I like his build. It becomes better uh, every time I see it. And the ambush uh, chance for the first time has killed one, uh, in the middle of the fight has killed one and then uh, take another shot. So I can see how, if you're preparing that, how he could uh, really chain kill a lot of uh, enemies with it. And this uh, gun is fabulous. It's absolutely wild. Good. Look, I think uh, that's all there is to do today. There is something else over here, but we're going to explore that section the next time. And once we're done with the Godfisher Watcher and Co., uh, we should be good to leave Denver and uh, look for other quests. There are quite a few. Zealot, uh, we can get back to uh, the main camp. But then there are Lords of War and a few other uh, bounty quests that we could do. We are uh, definitely making progress. Thanks for watching, guys. If you agree with taking out this massive, massive uh, robot, then leave a comment and a like down below. Otherwise, uh, the fist of uh, the good old Abraham Lincoln statue will crush you into pieces. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.